But we were free men. And we would rather die on our feet than live in our knees. Confident, savoring the meal to come, the beast approached, and it was King Leonidas himself who provoked it. Uninvited guests. Persian lapdogs bringing word to Sparta from the great and powerful Xerxes. All the God King required was a modest offering of earth and water, symbolizing Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. They warned us to be afraid, that Sparta would burn to the ground, and that only the word of Leonidas could save it. Leonidas did not leave our guests waiting long for a response. Earth and water. Xerxes, the god king of Persia, the devourer of nations. We few stand against him. Against a horde of beasts and men so massive it shakes the earth with its march. Our king Leonidas wavers not. Spartans, attack! Come, Persian horse! Let your master see how deeply the blade swung by freeborn men cleave! What's the flank? Keep it up, Spartans! Persian slaves, you die with valor! May you know freedom in the afterlife!
Feelings. No. Xerxes will cower behind a thousand such beasts before coming within a spear's cast. Then we shall kill a thousand. I suspect we won't have to. Xerxes will not wish to send more of them against us anytime soon. Slaves, on the other hand. Sire, they've taken the Phocian Wall! Our flank is wide open! Quickly, Spartans! We must retake the wall, or all is lost! Yeah. <laughs> 
No ground! Let no Persian live! Spartans, quickly! Over the wall before they regroup! You are the king of nothing, puny Spartan cur! If you prefer to name your slayer thus, so be it, dead man. Death to all Spartans!
Do not waste my time! <laughs> My burning blade will sear your flesh from your bones. The bigger they are, the more of them I see. <laughs> <laughs> 